this lecture we will discuss about small signal model of JFT, junction field decay transistor. Small signal model we have discussed of BJT, bipolar junction transistor also. So we will discuss a small signal model for FET, FET is for device. We know that FET is a unipolar device and voltage control device. FET is voltage control device. We understand that there are many advantages of JFET over BJT like FET has less noise. It does not require any threshold voltage. Less space is required in its manufacturing. Many other things are there in JFET. Here we are interested in small signal model of JFET. Why it is required? Why JFET is small signal model? A small, as a small signal model is required in BJT, so that whenever we are using the device in any application, the further analysis could be easily made, could, could be easily derived, could be easily understood using a small signal model. You can draw the small signal model, you can draw the equivalent circuit of the device. And if you want any, any, in any place device to be used, you can simply use that equivalent circuit. And you can analyze the device, you can analyze the amplifier circuits wherever the device, it may be BJT or FET used. So in this lecture, we will discuss about small signal model of JFET. We know that there are three important terms in JFET. Maybe N channel or P channel JFET, there is one drain current ID which flows in the drain. There is one voltage VGS. And there is another voltage, there is another voltage VDS of course, but there is even another important term is drain on resistance, small r, drain on resistance. These are three important terms. So when we talk about drain current ID, drain current ID, this drain current ID is contributed by two things. We know that it is a voltage control device and VGS, get to source is always a reverse bias in case of JFA. And VGS always affects the drain current. And that component we write ID is equal to GM VGS. ID is equal to GM VGS. ID is equal to GM VGS. And what is second? Due to this small RD and drain to source voltage, that component we write VDS divided by RD. VDS divided by RD. And this is the complete expression of complete expression of drain current ID. We can see that ID is equal to GM VGS. What is this component? This drain current is due to VGS. Second component is VDS divided by RD. Drain to source voltage is there and there is some resistance, drain resistance across. And what is that equivalent current flowing through drain due to this voltage? VDS divided by RD. Where? What is ID? Drain current small rd, drain resistance, gm, gm we call it as transconductance, gm we call here as transconductance, it's a conductance but transconductance, why? If we try to find out the expression of gm, what I will write, del id divided by del, del id divided by del vgs keeping vds constant. If I keep VDS constant, RD is itself a parameter for a, for a particular JFET. So delta ID divided by delta VGS, I write GM. So this is indirectly ID divided by VGS. Drain current is the output current. VGS is the input voltage. So output divided by input trans current divided by voltage conductance. So it is called as transconductance. Milli ampere per volt or micro ampere per volt will be the value of GM. What is second thing is ID. ID is the drain current. So this GM is first one. Second is RD. If I am interested to get the value of RD here, how will I write? Del VDS divided by del ID keeping VGS constant. We can see that. Del VDS divided by del ID keeping VGS constant. This factor differentiation of this factor will be zero and we will get RD. And what we call it as drain on resistance when 
VGS is constant. Delta VGS divided by delta ID. It will be of course in ohm. Normally the value of RD is very small. 100 ohm or less is the value of RD. Or maybe uh, uh, some value which is more, which may be more than 100 ohm also. But this value is always less value. Maybe few kilo ohms will be the value of drain uh, on resistance. Third is if I multiply RD and GM, GM into RD, del ID, del ID will be cancelled, delta VDS be divided by del VGS. It is approximately del VDS divided by del VGS. We write this as mu. Mu is equal to RD into GM. Mu is equal to RD into GM. Where what we call mu as? Mu we call as amplification factor. Internal amplification factor of JFT mu equal to RD into GM. That will be of course unitless quantity. Now what is equivalent circuit? What is a small signal model? Can we draw equivalent circuit based on this equation? Yes. This is nothing but a drain current ID which is divided into two parts. This ID is depending on VGS depending on some voltage, what will say it, what will write voltage dependent current source and what is this, there is a drain to source voltage across some resistance is connected and what is the component of current VD is divided by RD so how can we draw this from this side the drain current ID is flowing this is our VDS if I draw here a small RD what will be component of drain current ID flowing through this branch? What is voltage across this branch? VDS divided by RD. Uh, VDS, so what will be current? VDS divided by RD. What is second component? Second component is GM VGS. And the direction is like this and therefore there will be a dependent current source. And what will be the current? GM into VGS. And this is the small signal model. Here it is GS, drain, source. What is voltage here? Of course VGS in the input side. But, but there won't be any current or uh, resistance uh, in the input side. Why? Because we know that gate is always reverse biased in JFT, so this will be open circuit. But there will be some voltage VGS and because of that voltage there will be drain current ID and so on. There will not be any connection, there, will, there won't be any connection, otherwise there will be feedback. This will not be connected at all. This will not be connected. So VGS is there and what is drain current ID? It is VDS upon RD. Second part is GM VGS and this is called as small signal model of JFET. Remember, we can see that, we also can see that the output drain current ID is controlled by gate to source bias which is input voltage and this is why we call this JFET device as voltage controlled device. It is not current control device. As we compare this, this is a common source. If we compare common source with common emitter amplifier BJT, we will find that IC is controlled by IB here. That is input current, base current IB. So we call BJT as a current control device, but here it is voltage control device. One more observation, one more point we can discuss regarding small signal model of JFT here is that this small signal model is discussed at low temperature, low frequency I'm sorry. It is discussed at low frequency. This is low frequency model, low frequency model. And if we go for high frequency model, what will happen? We know that 1 upon C, 1 upon omega C is the impedance of capacitance. And at low frequency, the impedance due to capacitance will be very high. We can ignore, we can neglect. But at high frequency, what happens that inter-electrode capacitances, we will discuss separately CGS, CDS and CGD. There will be three inter-electrode capacitances which will be connected here, there and there, which we are not discussing here. This is a small signal model 
at low frequency here they are all neglected neglected at low frequency but at high frequency we cannot neglect we cannot ignore the value of inter electrode capacitances there will be one uh, capacitance there will be another capacitance and there will be one more capacitance which we call here as inter electrode capacitances so this is we talked about a small signal model of jfet and a small signal model of jfet is a very very important topic because wherever we are going to use jfet in any application in any amplifier circuit a small signal model plays very important role for the analysis and subsequent uh, determination of other uh, factors it plays very important role thank you